this is Ina from Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today um, on episode we are going to make uh, something what my mom usually made once a year. It was special treat. <laughs> I do make way often than that. Uh, so it's called Tvarozhnaya Zatikanka which is mean baked farm cheese. I do not buy farm cheese but um, I make my own. And I will link below how to make um, cheese. It's super, super simple. Just need patience 24 hours and two ingredients, really. But um, if you don't have time, don't worry. You can um, substitute this farmer's cheese. Um, we need two pounds. So um, let's begin. But um, before that, <laughs> I have to explain about um, some ingredients. Um, this is a soaked, um, in a couple of hours, um, dry tart cherries. I like use tart cherries, but it's fine to use um, raisins. Um, it's fine to use really any dry fruits you like. I have done with figs, I have done with raisins, craisins, really any, or combination of all, and um, I'm sure you will like it. So, and for this special occasion, my mom would use um, real vanilla bean once a year before Easter, she would make this dish. But normally we would use just extract. Um, so I do have Happens vanilla bean, and I will use today. Eggs, uh, melted butter, half cup, which is one stick, and um, three quarter cups of uh, sugar. Pinch of salt and eggs, that's about it, very simple. So let's begin. So we need to First, to um, separate egg whites from egg yolks, and it's two different containers, and uh, be careful. <laughs> the fresher they are, the more easy to separate. And this eggs pretty fresh, they're from local farm, but from young chicken, and we need egg and um, eight eggs. Last one, eight. They are small. I wish I can have bigger, but I don't have. That's all I have. <laughs> Be careful with separating. If a um, tiny bit of egg yolk comes to egg whites, we'll never able to whip. So uh, let's begin with egg yolks first. We need to add sugar. Playing with eggs is his favorite thing in the kitchen. <laughs> As you see, it starts to get pale and very light color. And it's increasing very, it's so, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's nice, it's perfect. That's all we So this is ready, um, egg yolks, now we need to take care of cheese, and cheese goes to the bowl. Once a while, stop and scrape. So now, time to add butter, melted butter. Thank you. 
the most important ingredient, starch. <laughs> um, so, so many recipes on this baked cheese, and some people use starch, some people use cream of wheat, some people use flour, some, it's so many other ways to do. My mom always done this corn starch, uh, potato starch. I'm using corn starch and it's fine. So we need five tablespoons. together and um, scrape once a while. It's similar to cheesecake except the texture is not as fine as, and it's not as silky. But I like and that's how I grew up and eating this baked cheese and I'm so popular. Uh, vanilla bean. We need to scrape. This leftovers vanilla beans. I will make a bunch of vanilla extract, which takes about three months.
oven should be ready is 325 and it takes about 12 inch it takes about uh, one hour or so we'll watch Welcome back, and let's check our armor. Really good. So today we made baked tata cheese, or farmer's cheese, whatever you call. Um, it's <clears throat> delicious and slightly, it's not always sweet, and depends on your taste, how much sugar you can add. And it's delicious on its own, or you can add some fruit, or you can garnish with some powdered sugar, um, berries, or whatever you want. It's um, you can serve um, for for your favorite potluck party, and I'm sure everyone will love it. Thanks for watching me.